Now let's take a look at what secret bootloader does step by step. The first thing to understand is a very simple bootloader. This bootloader will just do a jumping to the target application. It's not yet a secret bootloader at this moment. The first thing to achieve for bootloader is to have a separate code from the target application. The secure boot is always the first application to run. It is usually located at the beginning of the flash address, and this is a code always running after reset. And it is a standalone kind of application. This part of the code does not need to be compiled or linked with a target user application. And for such kind of purpose, we need to define a flash mapping and reserve certain k bytes of uh, flash space for the bootloader itself. And then the rest of the memory can be allocated to application, uh, its configuration data, etc. In terms of RAM, the bootloader will also have some data in RAM during its execution, but those part of the RAM can be then emptied and released before jumping to the application. This will avoid leaving any useful unwanted data to be available when application starts to run. This diagram illustrates how the bootloader launches an application. Assuming that we reserve 20k bytes for the bootloader, then the bootloader starts from the base address of the internal user flash, and the application starts at the address of the base address plus an offset of 20k bytes. At the beginning of the bootloader, the first word is the set pointer of the bootloader, and then the second word will be the reset handler PC. Then the following will be the vector table, and then vector code, then the main code of the bootloader. Um, the application is actually having the similar kind of structure, so at the start uh, address of the application area, the first word will also be the stack pointer, and then the um, application reset handler address. So after reset, the CPU will get the step pointer and also start execution of the reset handler code of the bootloader. Then usually in the bootloader, the last piece of code is a jumper. This jumper will get the application step pointer. We also get the application reset handler address and then it will set the main stack pointer to the application stack pointer address and then jump to the address of the application reset handler. Now it's time to have a hands-on for the simple bootloader. The goal of this hands-on is to show the different steps to create application and a simple bootloader, define a flash map for both application and bootloader, and have the jumper code in the bootloader to launch the application. Thank you for watching.